Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. I'm that far away because I have a bloody massive garage now. Yay me. Now, a lot of you have been waiting for this motorbike time. Quick video you've just seen, or hopefully you've just seen it, if not watch it, when I just rode this back. Um, it was a 70 odd mile trip doing some speeds. Um, I wasn't particularly happy as I was worried about the water oil levels, chain, tyre pressure, etc. Because the last owner um, had just rolled it and you know knew nothing about it, as it were. Um, the boxes, the mechanics of them are knackered. Um, you get them on, you get them off, and you're lucky. So I've got to take the whole mechanism apart. I did WD-40 it, or maintenance spray it. I didn't do a lot. Um, the back box I just spelled up and I've got that mechanically working much better. Whether or not they've been abused, just left in heat, I don't know. But they're definitely coming apart, everything he's doing, because you can't have it where it is now. So, what am I doing now with a can of black spray and a couple of screwdrivers? Well, the front screen is white, I don't like it. £119, it comes the same shape, but just a little bit tinted. Now, remember one of my other videos... Um, I've got a little bit here. To be honest with you, it wasn't too bad. It's a nice screen. You look right over the top. So I'm actually going to take it off, wash it, and black it. Reason being, also, it's got some nasty scratches. So it's easy to do. You always spray the inside rather than the outside. You get that gloss look, but on a mat, so it's much nicer. Handlebars, this one here was low. So I've quite simply undone uh, Allen key, undone it, adjusted it to where I'm happy. And, but you've got to do both, okay? This one was lower, that one was too low, so I adjusted them both. Don't just do one. Believe you me, you will feel it riding down the road. It's funny when you've got your arms straight. You can feel just a couple of five mil out, so that's both adjusted perfectly now. The end cap has gone on here. I've ordered a new one. Uh, service kit, yep. Um, do hunt around for your service kits. Normally, I just buy spark plugs, uh, air filter, oil filter, and the oil separately. I found a dealer with now you get the plastic bag boxed ones rather than the oil can. That saves you a few pounds. I've got about £101 for a complete kit. So that's Iridium plugs, three of. Always worry when you see a seller selling four for your bike. Well, you know it's only three. That is a Triumph air filter, Triumph oil filter, and some good oil, as I said, with this container rather than the plastic ones you have to bring down the dump rather than chucking it in the bin. It's just a bag in the end of the day and you make sure it's completely drained out. These, the bars were out, and I showed you last night that they were out by a fraction. Um, it turned out it was actually about 5 mil, so the whole bars were over 5 mil. A little bit odd, they are perfect now, and again, adjust it while you're sitting on the bike so you can just move it nicely. I thought I had it right, and it sat on it, and it didn't feel the same. So now, these are lovely. New set of mirrors coming, because these are cracked. Um, they're like Kawasaki ones, to be honest, you're sort of diamond -ish shape, but they're good as well. And brake pads, I can have them out before I order them. They looked a bit tacky and crappy. I don't know whether it's just the same way, you know, um, the frame was all dirty. Uh, engine cleaner on that, then I'm going to have to wash it all and see what I'm left with then. Battery looks okay, holding charge, which is really good. The key fob he gave me. Here we have two of the key fobs, and it was this one worked, and this one didn't. So um, I've tried to find a battery for it, and it's not your normal C2032s, it's slightly smaller. So I thought, wait a minute, I don't like that. You know what's going to happen with me, don't you? Riding along, woof, it will come out of this weird little contraption. So I just undone the bolt, undone the inside, undone the inside and swapped them over. Now I have a proper key fob working. I don't love them. Beep, 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 all the bloody noises. You press the black button and hold, and that gets you into service mode, which means you can push the bike around where you want to. It's not going off all the time. Press the other grey one, and then it's back to alarm again. Anyone touches it, etc., etc. Data tool, not too bad. And does get your insurance a little bit cheaper. Key slightly bent. Both of them were. I straightened them out. Um, yeah, don't do that if you don't know what you're doing. Heat it, bend it slightly. You can, you can snap them. Don't do it. And don't do both at the same time, whatever you do. <laughs> it is worth doing because it goes in nicely now. I've WD'd all the locks as well. So I've done a little few little bits. I just wanted to get to you now before I actually take the screen off. Now, luckily, 
and I've said, okay, take pictures if you know what you're doing. I um, felt back here, took it out, and then them little rubber ones with a bolt inside, so when you undo it, it doesn't drop through, which is great. So I'm gonna undo these, take them off, I'm gonna wash it in soapy water, then dry it, dry it, rinse it completely, then I'm just gonna blow the black over and pop it on. So have a look what it looks like now, and then, when I come back in a minute, you'll see it all blacked out. It should look quite nice. But I do need to wash everywhere, really, so it's not going to go back on completely. I'll give you another quick look around the bike. So the screen's coming off. Lights all need doing. Um, tire pressure was low. We had uh, 25, and we had 23 at the back, so that's got to be 30 each. Um, all this is just, you know, it's just worn, dirty. Um... In there was the water. I've just topped it up. I will drain it all out. No, I don't want that on there. Uh, I've just topped it up to make sure, because I'm all legal on it now, so I want to make sure it's good. I'm just going to match up all the bolts and make sure it's all clean and tidy. Um, hard pick the exhaust. Remember to wash that off. Don't leave it on too long. Uh, clutch is good. Engine oil was right under the minimum. One of the reasons why I didn't want to flog it last night, but it was under the minimum. Now she's topped up, even though I've got some oil. Uh, I've put fresh, proper quality oil in there until I get it, because I am going to ride it. Simple little dash, nice display on here, heated grips. Um, now, they're never great, these are. The BMW, probably the hottest I've had. These are okay, depending on how old they are. Simple controls, nice and easy. Um, yeah, you can't knock the controls on this bike. Exhaust, I am haggling with someone now, see if I can get one. I did contact a company, and they weren't interested, so I ain't buying a brand new one. Um, the arse end of it's quite pretty. I just don't like the exhaust. Uh, it's got a Scott oil on here. As I always said, you know, have it on minimum. Um, yeah, you know I've got to do that, don't you? Tighten that one up. At least not a single like a lot of them. And a lot easier just to adjust. Remember where you are with these. Do not just undo it and hope for the best. You know, if the wheel's not straight, you're pretty buggered. Tyres ain't that bad, to be honest with you. Uh, these chicken lines will be minimum once I'm happy with what I'm doing on here. Gears went through really, really well. I have to say, actually did ride. Very well. I don't mind the colour. I don't mind that colour at all. Um... If you notice my jacket, it's got the orange as well. So actually, last night, as my jacket's got a bit of orange in it, I know it's a winter jacket. But I, I actually enjoyed the ride. It's my first ride in over a year. So I actually really enjoyed it. I will be using the back box, which is there. And it does work. A bit of gluing and messing around with that one to get that sorted. But it's great having a back box. But yes, you do get a little bit of buffering um, when you've got a back box on quite a high style bike. But it out, you know, the, the good of having it, put your crap in the back, outweighs a backpack. Obviously, it was nice riding it first without it. Absolutely gorgeous, soft, just a gorgeous soft seat. Can't not triumph for their seats. And realistically, I just like putting the camera on my huge, you know. If you haven't watched me before, watch my previous videos. I have my little garage, my little shed. A lot of you that stayed with me, thank you so much. I know you've been waiting a long time. I've also, or also inquired... So what, my garage door makes that little knocking noise, not someone trying to get in. I've also inquired about a little ped. It uh, doesn't run, there's a few little bits, so, you know, um, it's a few miles away. I can't get it in my truck. So I said, would you deliver it? I'm fingers crossed, so I may have a ped as well coming up, which would be great. And a little bit of a light issue there with the door, I'm aware. Anyway, so I'm coming along. Uh, I've got to get some more petrol in this little baby. Um, I'm debating the ride to work one of these days. Um, I'm so I'm going to get on with this. So come back in a few minutes and have a look at this screen. This is what you get now. Now, I said I'm well above the screen. And while I was riding home last night, I did think if I blacked it, would I see through it? But you can see completely around it. It's not intrusive. So that's going to be black. So I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. Look at all them scratches and dung. Let's see if I can clean it up and then just blow it over. Now, it will last forever. But if I don't like it, I'll just petrol it off and you've got a clean screen again. You know what I mean? Worth doing. So, ready? Hey? Remember, inside, because all your crap will hit outside. Closer look, I hear you ask. Still, obviously, got the scratches that it had. But, uh, it's not bad, is it? 
Hey, I mean, yeah, the light, this garage lights really do obviously make it shine, but you know, come on. And that's already changed the look of the bike. For nothing, I had the spray already. I'm sitting here. I can see perfectly of what I need to see in the road, either side of it, there's no problems whatsoever. I'm very, very happy with that. And I mean, if I put a tip the screen anyway, it'd have been the same. I'm probably missing, you know, but I'm actually really happy. I can see what I need to see. Yeah, really happy for that price. Top tip, eh? Obviously it's up here somewhere, I wouldn't see a bloody thing, would I? <laughs> but that's good, normal sitting position. So what's next? Uh, mirrors. Um, when bits and bobs come. You know, it's always fun to cut a tee. It's always funny when um, I bought three things, you know. And it's always funny that the ones that say they're going to take the longest, come on, they look a lot, lot better, don't you think? I think they look a lot better. It's the one that say they're going to take the longest, which these were supposed to be here Saturday, actually arrive next, well, practically next day. I bought them Monday evening and they arrive Wednesday. So that's, that's good, isn't it? Look at that. So what have we got here? Do you know, it just looks a lot, lot nicer. I'll get them on. Uh, oh, what could that be? Yeah, yeah, welcome to my world. Once again, Rottweiler, you know, they like making lots of noise and like making their presence known. Anyway, 114 brake horsepower from a nice little triple engine. It's not bad, is it? You know, I'm not, I'm not upset with that. The seat height gets moaned at a lot with these um, because you were, uh, well, huh, I had Ducati Multistrada. Video's on here. I always say that, don't I? The videos are on here. But Ducati Multistrada, um, they're a high bugger. They really are a high, high bike. Um, and I'm only five foot, just five foot eight. I'm not going to pretend I'm any taller. Um, the owner for this bike said he was too short for this, it was, wasn't very comfortable for him. And when I got there, you know, he said he was 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and I wouldn't have said he was any taller or shorter than me, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know whether it's because I've uh, just got used to sort of dangling my legs down. I've got a 29 slash 30 leg. Seat height says 32 odd, 32.9 I think it says. Um, I fit quite comfortably if I'm honest with you. Don't go and buy a bike that you haven't sat on, all right? Um, there is horrible, you know I had that Triumph Trophy, and although that seat height wasn't mega high, um, it was a wide girl, and I think that's the same as these. I think Triumph gives you a real nice luxury seat. The Multistrada is a skinnier seat, more sports. So that's why I don't think you notice it so much on there. Uh, but you really do notice it on the Multistrada. Um, oh, sorry, on, on the other bikes, you do notice it on them. So we're just gonna get that in there. So as I said, 114 brake horsepower. It's not mega, is it, really? But it is enough, you know, set-up bike, isn't it? I don't think you want to do much more than that. And we are doing really well with this so far. Screen, comments below, what do you reckon? Next video up and coming, will be about a squeaky dog. <laughs> you fucker. The next video up and coming will be... <laughs> it usually purposely does it, it knows I'm doing a video. Why is it not going in? Is it going in? Oh, why? Oh, that's why. One's clockwise, one hand's clockwise. That would explain why it wasn't going in, wouldn't it? So, brake lever, I've got all of that. I didn't bother ordering it straight away because I wanted to check out what it was like. And to be honest, you don't really notice it. Um, some MOT centers don't like them if they're like that, you know, because it's, it's in the day, it can be caught or something like that. Right, there we go. Get the rubber on. I'm happy with these. Tell me what you think in a second. There we go. Tint the screen, newer shape mirrors, I think that looks actually quite nice. 
Got with it a little strap bit at the front as well. That's all I've done so far. Adjusted the actual. Yeah, can you see now for the handlebars? They actually look like they're, they're right now. That's that's correct. Nice mirrors, tinted screen. Job done. <clears throat> I never chuck anything away. I'll just keep these just in case. Um, I've got loads of old stuff, you know. I need to do one of those auto jumbles for my bike stuff. And then I could sell it, you know. Someone cut the grip for these, better chuck them away. Always put your tools away. Always have a cup of tea on the go. Well, I'm happy. I'm gonna go out for a ride. I'm gonna do a helmet cam ride. Jamie gave me a sports camera. That's my neighbour who took me to this bike. Um, she gave me a sports camera. So I'll have to dub over it because I haven't got very good mics. So a little bit of polish. I haven't done the engine, but I have topped up with oil, topped up with antifreeze, moved all that around, put a decent mirrors on there, tinted screen, Tire pressures were 20 odd, and that's not brilliant there at all, is it? So, five gallon tank. It's not a bad size, 5 point ish, 5.2, I think it is, gallon tank in there. So, you know, you're going to get some miles out of that as well. Um, happy days. Right, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, next video coming up will be a full service. So, that will be plugs, oil filter, air filter, the oil itself, the antifreeze. I'll check out the brake fluid on these and see what that's like as well and it's not hard to change once you've got dot four dot five here already um exhaust thank you so much for your suggestions delkovic i know i was giving it a Kapovic's and everything else a couple of people come up with black widow um not heard of them actually but i now think of it i probably have um there's an arrow one for sal uh, second hand i'm going to see if i can get that one only good second hand um, Lex Moto or Lex Tech RJ or OZ come up with their, their bloody loud. I don't know. You look at the 125s going round, they're like, so they are bloody loud. <laughs> I don't know if I want it just screaming, you know. I've still got to not piss off the neighbours. Although I've got a bigger garage now. And, well, as I've always said, be seen and be heard. So I'm going to keep up and looking at what your suggestions are. That video, um, thank you so much for watching it. I know a lot of you've been waiting for me to do some motorbike ones. It's just so hard to find them. Right, I'm going to stop chatting. I've done that. I've got to cut the lawn now. <laughs> I'm waiting for the service items. You take care of yourselves on the road. Please like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for staying with me.